So everyone out there with um, eight times A circuits, nine times A circuits, um, if you have a working five coil VIC that's producing gas, or really any circuit that you're working on, uh, I'd like all you guys to take gas measurements. That'd be really cool. Get some real data. Um, most people that I talk to don't really want to take gas measurements and maybe they have their own reasons but a lot of times I hear well I'm not done working on the circuit you know I can improve and I understand that I feel the same way um, all any of us ever try to do is improve the circuit so I think it would be important for us to take some baseline measurements uh, and record them and really anytime you make a change why not measure it? So, um, I guess there's a couple different ways. A lot of times I see people measuring gas with water displacement on the internet with like a liter bottle. And water displacement is cool, but I don't know about a liter bottle. Um, seems like there's a lot of room for error. Um, and flow meters, everyone always wants a flow meter, that's really easy, you just plug it in. The problem is they're not really made for HHO gas, they're made for oxygen, so people use those. I don't really know how like how accurate those are um, for HHO. Anytime that I've ever measured gas in school, in the lab, I've always used uh, water displacement out of an actual measuring device, not a liter bottle. So graduated cylinder I would do something like this I do I'm going to ah. wish that didn't happen anyway so got this on eBay for like three bucks and uh, yeah I can measure it's a uh, good thing it's plastic it's a 50 milliliter which should be fine with the low levels of gas that I'm planning on measuring if you're doing brute force electrolysis and you're producing 10 liters a minute uh, you might need something bigger but for anyone working on Stan Mayer's stuff um, you shouldn't have too much of a problem with something this size um, I plan on sort of making it really simple to use I don't know how I'm gonna rig it up but uh yeah, don't use a liter bottle unless you actually absolutely have to. And uh, there's a couple different ways you can actually compare your um, your gas output to you know efficiency efficiency levels. You can find a bunch of equations on the internet and whatever uh, comparing it to electrolysis. But um, for every electron, one amp is so many electrons. And for every um, electron or two electrons that is redoxed, like either absorbed on one side or released on the other side into ions and out of ions, um, that's going to release so much gas at the electrodes. So that's really easy to calculate. And then. Uh, to calculate your gas output, um, like say you measure half a liter of gas, you can calculate how many, sp specifically how many, um, oh man, sorry about that, the screensaver keeps coming up. You can calculate how many specific atoms of gas are in there, of both hydrogen and oxygen, with just your, uh, your, um, volume measurement using the ideal gas laws uh, so yeah that would be a good place to start look up the ideal gas laws but if you don't really want to go that far I'm sure there's just some equations you can look up Faraday equations are fine too but anyway I'd like to see people start posting more data or at least making more measurements that would be cool that's science.
So this is the homemade ring stand I built. Um, just threw it together for measuring gas output. So you have the graduated cylinder, obviously your water reservoir. This uh, slides up and down on this pole. And there's a valve here. You have this open, push it down into the water, close it, pull it back up, and you're ready to go. So you might be wondering what the calculations are that I mentioned. I'll put a link in the description. It's for ionizationx.com, um, directly to the topic that I started where I explain all the math that you have to do. Uh, basically, you find how many electrons you're passing through the circuit, convert that into um, coulombs with the time that you are taking the gas measurement over, and you convert that into moles of hydrogen and oxygen that you produce, and then using the I ideal gas law, um, you convert that into volume depending on your temperature and pressure. So, but uh, there's a much better description than that at uh, ionizationx.com under the topic. Uh, I forget what it's called, just follow the link.